Hey there. This is a take. God knows how many takes I've taken so far. I've managed to mess up on like the same thing over and over again. It's not because of my commentary, because relatively the song is easy to co-commentate alongside as well. But uh, what I want to display in my uh, commentary here about, not necessarily about the song per se, but about this rock band chart, or this rock band uh, file. This, this is a custom song, as you can tell from the description, and from, not, not from the description, from the uh, thumbnail itself. This is not an officially licensed rock band song. So of course, it's not gonna be as uh, officially done as actual rock band songs, but regardless, this is probably one of the most laziest charts I've seen so far. This is a stay note. Once I let go, the track for some reason just like lowers down the volume. From what I can gather, the uh, entirety of the song is not implemented into the background voice. Uh, the background uh, track. It's implemented into the guitar track itself. That is pretty bad game design when you're charting a custom song. Because in that instance, it makes the song sound so bad. Especially if you try to whammy something. As you can see, I'm whamming the note right now. Everything is slowed down out of tune and lower, lower in pitch as well, which is a big no-no. Only the guitar should be that if it's a multi-track, not the entire song. You may also notice, I haven't used them in my overdrive yet. That's because there are no notes that give me any overdrive notes. Therefore, I can't use any overdrive whatsoever, so I guess that's why. Regardless though, the entire song should not be backed up into the guitar. Speaking of which, we're gonna hit the, to the guitar solo soon. And uh, once we get there, the guitar solo is not even charted. Notes are charted, but it's not registered as a guitar solo. As you can see, there's no percentage bar, blue lines in the background, to indicate that this is a guitar solo. So, it doesn't give you bonus points for doing a guitar solo because the game does not recognize this song, or this section of the song, as a guitar solo for some reason. So whoever, like, I can understand doing this in the middle of production, but why release it? Because of that, it just feels very unprofessional for me to release this as a custom song. Granted, I will say myself that I have released unprofessional custom songs beforehand. However, for the most part, I got most as many instruments charted if possible. And I don't put the guitar track, I don't put the backing track into the guitar track. I put them all in the backing track so that it doesn't sound horrible when you whammy. So yeah, that's... That's my thesis about this chart review. Am I done yet? I think I'm closer to finishing the song anyways. I'm not sure why I'm wearing the notes even though there's no point to it. Oh, I think I almost fucked up there for a second. Also, I noticed the sustain notes do not decrease into 16 notes, it decreases into 30 second notes. Again, another 
no no for when charging in a song i didn't even get a gold star see that's the importance of having overdrive into a song is so that you can get that gold star ranking i fc that song no gold star whatsoever so you can't even get that is the best score I can get. That is the most perfect score I can get for this state, for the state of this chart right now. Uh, I, I want to sound like a, I'm a negative Nancy, but like after playing through this tr this uh, chart, I just had to like show off, uh, showcase it, and tell you guys that I feel like, in my opinion, you, the whoever charted uh, any whoever charts any like rock band songs, you need to like make it as best as possible. And this is not like a good option. This is not a good, uh, this is not, this is an example of how to not chart up a song. Now, the notes, they're perfectly fine. I'm perfectly fine with them. There could be some issues that I could change. It's like when it goes to the dun 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 dun, -dun there should have been like a little bit more hammer on notes instead of all down strums and all, uh, eighth notes. Uh, also going back to the 32nd notes, all sustained notes should at least have a decrease in 16th notes if there's a note after it immediately after it that way there is no like you notice like whenever like i uh let go of the sustain note try to shift my way to the next note there's like a little bit of a dip in terms of like the song because you know the background song for some reason is implemented to the guitar that's why i feel that that's why i say that the notes and this is just not for me this is from like almost everyone in the standpoint this is why the notes should be granted it's not that big of an issue when you're song is already in the background and not in the uh, guitar front but um that's the main issue as to why people would usually uh chart it as a 16th uh 16 note decrease rather than a 30 second note decrease now to be fair my first song did have a 32 30 second note decrease and if i get to the time or if i'm honestly not that lazy enough i will get around it and actually fix that if i can but uh yeah, for the future of my uh, most of my customs, I will always try to follow the regular guidelines. I might bend the rule to a little bit, like the uh, the rare notes and the uh, um, what else is there? I don't, I don't think there's a, and the sustain notes as well. Sorry, not the sustain notes. The uh, extended sustain notes, where like usually it's best to have like as a uh, full uh, chord instead of like extended sustain, like Guitar Hero does. Um, but yeah, like, I may bend some rules from time to time, but that's mostly because of my preference as an author of rock, of uh, charting songs. But for the most part, I will follow by the rule set, and I will definitely make sure it's... Before release, I make sure it's as best as possible. Like, beforehand, I was like, okay, uh, I chart the song, I chart all the instruments, that's it. Now I chart the entire song, the entirety of the song, uh, include pra practice sections, include... Uh, Overdrive notes include um, venues and events uh, and lip syncing. Those are, I feel like, the five most complicated things as the uh, end process of charting a song. However, those are, for the most part, somewhat optional, I feel. And that's only to make the song uh, and the venue and the chart look as amazing as possible. The uh, core gameplay, I feel, is the most important factor when it comes to charting a rock band song. And, uh, yeah, that's basically uh, all I have to say is, like, the chart comes first, definitely. And I do say the chart definitely, uh, is perfectly functional in this case. Uh, in, uh, the custom song Ain't My Bitch by Metallica. I forgot who, uh, made it, but, um, it's been off production for, like, several years now. So, like, I don't think it's gonna be finished. I might finish this up just so that it could be, you know, finished. But, uh, also, furthermore, if I scroll down here... All the section breakdowns are in percentages rather than, you know, saying this is a guitar solo or this is a verse, this is a chorus, this is the intro, stuff like that. It's just by percentage base, which is, yeah. So look at that. My average multiplier is 3.92. And in, any, in almost any FC run, that should not be an average multiplier. The only time anything should go lower than a 4 times multiplier is if the song is way too short song doesn't provide enough overdrive markers or star power markers for the duration of that song again if the song is very short or as if honestly like there's like very few notes anyway so there's no point in the average multiplier <sighs> yeah that's, that's that's all i guess all the rant i have to go get to sorry about all that long ramble but i just really need to take that off my chest and say 
that uh there's kind of a little bit of a reason as to why I don't completely rely on custom songs. Although, if one is done very well, I will commend it for it. Ain't My Bitch by Metallica is not a well done custom song. It's not finished. The Only the guitar and drum charts are done. And it was released onto the database. Now, I know they still allow the option and I know that every strokes will have different folks. I'm just saying my complete opinion here. And uh, hey, if you have no problems with that and you only just care about the charting itself and not necessarily the star power, then hey, good on you. This song could be up to your alley. But for those who really do want a uh, complete uh, charting of a song, this is not it. So uh, yeah, anyway, so yeah, that's all I have to say on this matter.